Our next speaker is coming from China. Uh, professor Nao Li is uh, associate professor at the Beijing uh, Union University, and she is spending um, six months with us, or something like that, working with us on some of the key developments and um, working with um, the e-tourism uh, lab in developing some of the uh, innovations that we are going to continue when now goes back to China. Now. Uh, I'm Nao Li from China. First name is Nao. Uh, today I like to talk about an idea from China, a smart tourism city. Before we know what a, a smart tourism city, we have to uh, know uh, what is a smart cities. So first let's look at. Uh, at the end of 2008, the, 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 the IBM, the, the big uh, company, um, proposed a, a concept called uh, a Smarter Planet. It's actually a, a, business, a business strategy, but um, the idea is good. Uh, it gave us a, a blue map to build, uh, to, to use uh, ICT, uh, information technology, to build a smarter planet. Um, the, 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 the concept, the definition is quite hollow. Um, IBM proposed uh, uh, such kind of uh, idea just for their business, but the concept is quite good. Uh, the concept is how to use ICT to make our planet to be more perceptive, uh, per, uh, more interconnected, uh, more inter, uh, interactive, and more uh, intelligent. So <laughs> it, it's quite hollow, okay. So um, because it's quite hollow, so we have to narrow it, it down to make uh, it a, a real uh, a start. So IBM, uh, uh, follow that concept. I IBM uh, proposed another uh, a concept, uh, smart, smarter cities, and uh, give a, a, a simple uh, definition. Uh, smarter cities drive uh, sustainable economic growth and uh, capacity for their citizens. Their leaders have the tools to analyze data for better decisions participate to problems to resolve them pro uh, proactively and uh, coordinate resources to operate efficient, effectively. Uh, even though it is just uh, uh, IBM's uh, business strategy, but uh, um, after the, the, this idea was proposed, um, uh, most of um, many, many ICT company and some uh, many uh, cities uh, consider this, uh, this idea and uh, uh, use advanced ICT into rea reality to build the smarter cities, especially in Asian countries. And uh, this is uh, the, the whole idea of um, what is uh, smarter cities uh, IBM proposed. In the center is the human uh, citizens. And uh, three elements, main elements. The first one is a uh, human citizen, and then infrastructure, city infrastructure, and then planning and management. Are three key elements. Uh, the city has uh, environmental, energy, and water uh, transportation. All this kind of uh, thing all together to build uh, smarter cities. And uh, this uh, this is a uh, uh, video can show you what is uh, smarter cities. The city of Dubuque is the oldest city in the state of Iowa. It's about 60,000 in population. 
It is a town that has transitioned tremendously in the past number of decades from basically an agricultural and manufacturing town to a very much mixed industry. And today it is considered one of the more progressive, sustainable communities in the United States. The goal of the Smarter Sustainable Dubuque Research Project is to integrate information across different silos of energy and resources. It's about giving people what they need, which is information specific to how they use resources, to do what they want, and that is to save money, conserve resources, and to improve the environment. Uh, to do that requires a lot of data, and that's where cloud computing with IBM comes in handy. IBM wants to help cities get smarter, and the way cloud makes that real is by saying it doesn't matter where your sensors are, it doesn't matter how many they are, it doesn't matter at what rate they are sending data. You can pull it all together, and solve problems and deliver value. The name Smarter Sustainable Dubuque projects are Smarter Water, Smarter Electric, Smarter Natural Gas, and Smarter Travel. As we started delivering the water pilot through the cloud with citizens of Dubuque, they immediately started leveraging the solution. The most exciting thing to me probably came the first time I saw the water portal. I had a four gallon per hour leak in my household. I was astounded by that amount. 25 to 28 percent of all the water produced in the country is lost through leaks. As the water pilot came to a conclusion, we got information data that showed a 6.6 percent reduction in water consumption for those pilot households. We also saw an eight-fold increase in leak detection. While we were excited about the positive outcomes from the water study, we were even more excited about the early indications we're getting from our electricity pilot. I own a 100-year-old home, so I, I want to make it as efficient as possible. Uh, and this was a wonderful way to check every single day on what we were using and how I could change the house and change our living to reduce our footprint. The portal this morning told me that this September our usage is down by 26% from last September. So our energy bill should be reduced by 26%. We have been able to move from the research cloud to the IBM cloud in Lexington and in a subsequent moves to the Smart Cloud Enterprise Plus. All these things are happening seamlessly. They are not visible to the end user, to the view. You don't see the cloud. I don't know what's going on on the backside. I just know it's very simple to use. It gives me the information on my home and what I need. I think the next phases we're looking at then are moving the silos together from water, electric, gas, or transportation and say what kind of interrelationships can we find about those things. Through cloud computing, you'll make a lot of these things cost effective. For a community like Dubuque, this type of partnership with IBM is critical. The beauty of using cloud computing in sustainable Dubuque is to give us access to the world's finest technology and the world's finest technicians without having to make the upfront investment as a community. IBM is a wonderful partner for Dubuque in this system. Okay, that's it. Now to advertising for IBM. <laughs>
uh, on the other side, uh, side uh, government want to do uh, such kind of thing. In China, there is no um, no uh, DMO, just like uh, a European country. We just have a government. government. So in order to do some, uh, some same thing as a DMO, to encourage the development of tourism uh, industry in China, the government have to think about how to uh, give uh, the, 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 the society, give the, the China uh, encourage element, a stimulus. So they, 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 they thought of uh, ICT. So they used the idea of uh, IBM as the idea of smarter uh, plant, smarter cities, smart cities. They translated into a, a tourism industry. So this, uh, they proposed a, a smart tourism by the central government, China National Tourism Administration. Uh, they also give um, um, a definition, uh, uh, but this de definition is uh, is also very hollow. But uh, uh, it give um, an idea based on the character, based on the current status of uh, chi chi uh, uh, development, current status of uh, of uh, in tourism industry in China. Uh, the, uh, smart tourism is a systematic economic and management resolutions. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is um, idea to tell you uh, smart what it, uh, smart tourism is. The aim is to um, make the uh, tourism industry in China um, more uh, to uh, to to improve their management level to improve their uh, uh, service level. So it is a revolution. It's a revolution. And uh, they give, uh, the definition also gives the, 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 the way, uh, the method to do that uh, based on new generation ICT, to use ICT. And um, the aim is to meet the personality uh, requirements of tourists, provide high uh, quality and sat uh, satisfaction services and uh, realize the sharing and effective usage of tourism and society resources. This is a uh, tourism destination. And um, in, uh, in China, the central government, uh, uh, the central government, the China National Tourism Administration has no uh, money. But local government has money, has money. So how to, in order to encourage uh, the smart tourism into reality, into a real start, uh, into a real thing, uh, the central government had to, had to uh, encourage the local government to be engaged in uh, such kind of uh, idea to realize it. So uh, the central government I think uh, sought out uh, idea to, um, let the uh, local government to be active into uh, to realize smart tourism. The idea is to announce uh, uh, the, the, the announce eight, eighteen pilot national smart tourism cities. That means if you uh, want to your cities more fam famous more. Um, attractive to uh, uh, interest in uh, audience into tourists. Uh, the first thing you you, you want you have to uh, build your your city um, as uh, smart tourism cities. So uh, uh, after the eighteen um, pilot city be announced, the local government. The local government are very active into such kind of thing, so the money uh, can be uh, supported by the local government because the tourism department has uh, no uh, uh, such kind of funding. So we call pilot national smart tourism city a. Uh, Smart tourism city. This is uh, what uh, uh, smart tourism city comes from. Uh, 
so far we got to uh, a, a, a little bit confused because there are two cities, two kinds of cities. Uh, one is smart cities, another is smart tourism cities. Or even me, uh, myself, will ask what's the difference between the two, two kinds of uh, cities. Um, actually, they have the same thing in common. Uh, city uh, infrastructure like uh, um, transportation, like uh, water and uh, electronic uh, supply, such kind of thing. Uh, and uh, uh, ICT infrastructure like uh, wireless network, uh, computer network, uh, telecommunication network, such kind of ICT inc uh, also including data database resources uh, collect from the whole city. Um, so this is infrastructure, they have the, the same thing in common. The, 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 the applications, upper application, ICT applications are based on the city and ICT infrastructure. But they do have a different thing. They uh, have different focus. For the smarter, uh, smart cities, their focus is citizens. Uh, as just now the video shows, they uh, talk about uh, water uh, supply system, electronics uh, system. Another is, uh, uh, but smart tourism city, cities focus on tourists. So the, the different uh, aim, different uh, focus. And uh, there is an example of uh, 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 a city from China, Nanjing, the capital of, of uh, Jiangsu province. And uh, this, is, this is the concept of the uh, smart Nanjing. And uh, uh, the idea is government leads, because we have uh, no, uh, um, no uh, DMO. And then multi-party multi participant uh, in, uh, interest uh, uh, abstract uh, all the uh, companies in society to uh, engage in and the market operate. And uh, they use a, ge a new generation ICT into the, 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 the tourism uh, smart cities to produce some new uh, tourism products. Uh, to build up information uh, a platform and uh, uh, produce a new experience, experience for uh, tourism, tourists. And this is uh, what they have done. They built, uh, uh, they uh, develop a tourism attraction central management platform to monitor the uh, tourist attractions uh, flow, uh, uh, visitor flows of uh, uh, all the attractions in the city. And um, they built up a website to, and uh, also the, the, the mobile APP for the uh, tourists. And um, this, is, this is another city of China, uh, Huangshan city. It's actually not a city. Uh, before uh, 2000, it, it actually uh, it's just a mountain uh, tourism attraction. And uh, as a develop of, of the tourism, and then a uh, city accumulate. So uh, there, uh, this city uh, built a very powerful uh, electronic commerce platform to um, um, sell uh, a ticket for the, the mountain. And uh, uh, this uh, electronic commerce is um, operated by an, a company. And this company is a sub-company of the mountain, uh, the, uh, the Huangshan, the, the mountain. The att attraction is itself a company. And uh, this uh, electronic com commerce company is a sub com uh, a company of, of, of the, 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 the Huangshan. So this uh, different. And uh, they call this attraction, uh, the Huangshan uh, cooperate with the uh, um, uh, online uh, uh, travel agent. So, and um, so far we got uh, uh, 18 uh, uh, smart tourism city in China. The first three years from uh, last year to 2000, uh, uh, f f uh, 14. So 
at the end of 2014, we can see what uh, uh, a smart uh, tourism city look like. And uh, what we are doing is review the plan of the pilot cities and uh, guide the, 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 the whole process of, of their constructions. And uh, we are looking for the best uh, practice all over the world uh, to see how they can help China to do uh, better. And uh, we also cooperate with local cities to build up a best practice uh, of smart uh, tourism city in China. Thank you. Thank you very much now. This is uh, quite interesting now when you are connecting all the different bits together and how you can integrate the destination or a smart city. And that's something that we start looking into here. And we, are, we would like to collaborate with the GSS, GSMA and look into how we can take smart cities and make smart tourism cities and smart destinations. Any questions for now? Any questions for now? Yeah. Hello, Karen Fenn. What are the, I have to answer any other questions. What perfume? <laughs> where are you from and what perfume? <laughs> Norbert in um, Burton Bradstock, and I've got Deanna Missimo on. Um, <laughs> The question I have is, you were looking at monitoring the flow of visitors to attractions. Was there any action that was then taken um, on the basis of the flow? If one attraction was fuller than others, was it offers that were put on, or did you promote, was another one promoted more heavily, or what, what was that information used for in the smart tourism cities? I think uh, at this moment uh, they uh, use that uh, system to monitor the, the, the visit flow and uh, the system will um, alarm uh, when the, uh, there is a limit or yeah over that uh, limit. Um, uh, at this moment, this system is just for the management. But in the future, I think they, they, they will uh, uh, do more, better. To, uh, for example, to, uh, when the flow is over some limit, and they send a message to the tourists to, to tell them uh, that uh, in that attraction, there are too many persons there. And uh, after, uh, and then they, uh, can use that system to um, to adjustment to do a, a adjustment to uh, control the, the flow a uh, visit the flow uh, around the city. So, uh, but at this moment, just uh, management. Is, uh, it's very interesting. In China, they are able to actually control things, and they will be able to uh, divert people to different places. The nearest to that we have in the Western world is Disneyland. Because if you, if you see Disney as a park, and if you see what you can do, is you can identify where you've got overcrowded, or overcrowded areas, and you can divert people to different attractions, or to take them, or send distractions so they're not getting bored, and things like that. There's a huge opportunity for management of crowds, and that's something that we're looking with now here. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you now.